Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Shopify. In the last video, what we have done, we have created an account, we have logged in with that account. Okay, so now I'm going to check which is my address. Currently, say, see that we don't have the address. Okay, so I have logged in with that account also. In the postman also, I have logged in with that account, right? So here we have the access token, right? So let's try to add the address. Okay, and let's see the address is added by logging in the admin or not. So let's go and check it out. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So I'm, here I'm going to just put my SS token. So which you get in the login. And this is the address that I want to input it. And this is our uh, mutation create address. So it accepts the SS token, address, country, province, city and the zip. Okay. So here we have the customer address create, customer SS token and what we required ID and the code and the message. Okay. Let's try to copy this and uh, our URL is the same one of this one. Let's copy this URL first. Let's go to the postman and let's try to go over here. Okay, let's make a post request. Go to the um, body. Let's go to the GraphQL. And here I need to paste our... Uh, here you go with the body request. So here we have a mutation. So let's copy this mutation and just paste it over here. And let's go with the gra customer SS token. So let's copy this. Okay. So I have please re replace your SS token, right? So this is done. Let's try to go with the uh, headers. And here we need to put the authorization headers. Make sure you have to add this. Okay, and let's go and just add it this is token. This is done. Let's try to send this. Customer address created with the ID, right? And let's try to check currently we have our zero addresses. If I just reload, the address is there, right? So this is the address which I'm adding. So you can see that uh, address is created for that user. And if I go to the admin also, you can see that the customers and this is my customer and here you can see that the address is added default address. Okay, so this is how we are able to do that. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.